Keiko here at the UFC Fan Expo in Houston, Texas. This is the ultimate place you want to be if you're a UFC fan. I'm ready to learn how to kick some ass, so let's go check it out. Who did you come to see here tonight? Well, I came to see Anderson so far. I'm out here trying to see Anderson Silva as my boy, the spider. Anderson Silva. Really wanted to see GSP today, but he's not going to be here. Anderson Silva, did you hear that he got the cover athlete? Yeah, yeah. Are you excited about that? I'm excited. Yeah. I got to see Clay Guida, and that was that was awesome. Pretty much Jose Aldo, he's like one of my favorite fighters. I saw one of the Gracies here. He was, he was good, too. Pretty much everybody, so yeah. I like all the fighters. So you guys came to see any ring girls today? Oh yeah, we took a lot of pictures with them. I already seen Shondell. I got to take a picture with her and get an autograph and all that, so that was pretty cool. Definitely Ariane. Ariane, my producer liked her. Oh yeah, oh she's mine. It's great, it's a great time for us to kind of know the fans. It's a great time, man. You get to um, reach out to your fans a little bit and, you know, BS with them and sign some autographs. This is where all the fans come. I want to kick some ass. Like, I want to, like, start getting really crazy because people look at me and they're like, she can't kick no ass. I would say we have to get you all geared up and you have to try to spar a lot. The secret to fighting is to have, like, is to like, you know, maintain your sanity and all the chaos. You know what I mean? So a lot of people want to slap their faces and, and go out there and they go fight, but sometimes you lose, like, you know, you lose what's going on. So you gotta be real calm, be like a ninja out there, you know, pitter patter, and, and be light, 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 and then hard at the last second. We have um, the training area where you can actually fight with like a trainer and um, punch a punching bag. We're here at the infamous Octagon where fighters get down. GSP, BJ Penn, Tito Ortiz, Anderson Silva, and if Joey, if you piss me off, it's gonna be a Lingus versus Gila in this ring, so you better watch yourself. I'm here with Brandon the Truth Vera here at the UFC Fan Expo. What do we have going on over here? Um, we're here today training with TRX. TRX suspension trainer is so efficient. It blends strength, cardio, flexibility all together. Basically using your body weight and your functional strength to improve yourself on a daily basis. No weights, no weights at all. We just got some regular folks that uh, came in from the expo who want to get a workout. I don't think they'll be disappointed. Five all the way up to 80 year old people are using the TRX system just because it's that easy to use. You want to fight me? You really want to fight me? You want to go there? You want to take me on a date? I'll think about it. So do you fight too? Uh, not personally, but you know, I wouldn't mind. I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> I'm more of a fighter than a lover, but Fight, street fights, no professional fights. Damn, I gotta step my game up. I feel like a weenie compared to them. Can we do a stare down? You're good. I went cross-eyed on you and everything and you didn't laugh. I'm here with Nevin, the producer of UFC Undisputed 3. So, Nevin, tell us about the game. Uh, well, you know, we're really excited. Third iteration of the Undisputed franchise uh, here at the UFC Fan Expo. This is actually the first time that consumers have had the chance to get their hands on the sticks, so to speak, and play the game. I mean, it's a lot of stuff that we put in this game that really comes from the fans and the community. We involved our community since day one in, in terms of uh, getting them in and uh, playing the game, doing focus tests, and really putting in what people wanted in the game. So people who are not here at the Expo, what can you tell them about it right now? Everybody's been loving it. There's been a huge crowd today. It's been a great turnout. Yeah, they're missing out on a great experience, being able to meet a lot of the UFC fighters they, they watch on TV. It's a one-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I'm glad it came here. It's been, it's been a while since it's been here. I'm very excited. I know a lot of fans here are excited. It's just crazy to see all these people in, in real life. People that you see on TV, I'm starstruck. If you've never been to a fan expo, you're missing out. This is something in your life that for sure should be on your bucket list. The fans here aren't just fans, like they're fanatics. They know your birthday, they know your first dog's name. It's just cool to see the, a different type of crowd than we're used to, and uh, it's a lot of fun. The UFC is on the path for world domination, and let's get more people involved in the brand and in the sport. Uh, you know, certainly things like this fan expo help in that. Dana White and Lorenzo, one thing they like to do is to work with the best and to make the best decisions for the sport. 
and that's why we're mainstream sport right now and that's that's we're gonna keep growing 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 and dominating every sport in the world and that's what Dana been saying for so long and he believes in that it's a wrap here at the UFC Fan Expo. Had a great time, got to meet some really cool fighters, got to see some intense demos, and I even learned a few moves myself. So Joey, you better watch out, I'm gonna punch you in the ass. Did you just say punch me in the ass? Yeah. I've been really wanting to tell you this. Ever since you got back, you've been like crazy violent. You're like scaring me. What are you trying to say? If, if I show you, you gonna hurt me? Well, there's only one way to find out. What the hell? You think I'm a hooker or something? Touching the tapping! Make it boss, bitch. That's right. You better watch your back, son. <laughs> you better watch your back, son. You're crazy. I don't think you're messing in. Anyways, <laughs> we've got Tom Cruise and the cast of Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol after the break. You're watching Mixed Rated, so stick around. You are crazy, Sesame. Mm, Take your medicine, <laughs>